Peter's uh, testimony or her some of her commentary through this and again it comes down to her this is a bench trial so she's gonna alone make the decision on this I think that there is some room that uh, Apple may and other developers may be required to allow app developers to advertise that you can go outside to the store for example with Netflix for example you can get a subscription outside of the app store uh, I don't think that's going to change. I think consumers are lazy. I don't think that they're going to take that step to do that. So when I put all this together, Wilford, I think that it's going to have uh, little to no impact on uh, on Apple. I do think um, Epic should, uh, you know, be prepared here because there is a countersuit. Apple is suing for what I estimate to be about a hundred million dollars for lost revenue for breach of contract with the store. Mm -hmm. Epic makes about seven hundred million dollars a year. So they can clearly afford the hundred million, but I think that that's ultimately how this plays out. So as you say, a lot of this centers around that thirty percent commission fee. Gene, can you just give us a little context there? Is it, is it excessive? Is it unique that that Apple charges that, and how many developers are actually paying that? Well, the majority of developers pay fifteen percent, but they're small. They're less than a million in annual revenue. The majority of revenue comes from developers that pay that 30% rate. And ultimately, as I've been also listening, like Josh has been keenly listening to the testimony, I have been listening too. And it seems that most of Epic's kind of approach here about the 30% take rate and uh, is that Apple's making too much money on this uh, as they needle the way at Tim Cook, he uh, has kept his composure, but that seems to be kind of the, uh, the substance of their approach. Apple's making too much money. But in fact, again, that is the standard in the industry, this 30%. And, and separately is that other uh, developers make a lot of money as well. I don't think that there's anything uh, that precludes Apple from building a business that makes a lot of money. Developers are making a lot of money too. And so to answer your question, Sarah, is 30% is, uh, in line with the industry. I would just would add one kind of a, a fun uh, fact. I think it's close, uh, close to a fact here is that uh, if Apple were to lower its take rate with these largest developers from 30 to 25 percent,